everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my eighth update for my 21 and 21 project pan. The goal for this project is to hit 21 goals throughout the year, and I'm doing that through a project 10 pan style uh, project pan so that I'm not working on 21 products at a time and so I don't get overwhelmed. Um, but I am going to hit multiple kinds of goals. Um, I've been doing hit pan, empty, usage goals, all those different things. So if you are interested in seeing um, the whole of this project and you haven't seen any of these before, I do have the playlist link down below. So you are welcome to check that out. And if you're all caught up, welcome back and let's get right into the update. The first product that I'm working on is my concealer. It is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I always have trouble with that name, so I have to be very specific when I'm saying it. Um, it is in the shade Light 2, and I love this concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. Really, really enjoy it. I am working to get it used up just because I don't want it to go bad on me. And like I said, I love it. So it is just a free excuse to just go for it and get through it and use it as much as I want. So I'm very happy to have it in the project so that I can use it as much as I want. Um, I rolled it in last month, so there's not a ton of progress on this yet, but I am very excited to see the progress over the next few months. So I did use this 28 times last month, not every day, but most of the days. And here is what the progress is looking like. I'm very happy with, uh, with that jump. Like that's a pretty decent jump. Um, as the bottle doesn't go all the way down to here, um, it just like stops right there. I'm honestly not too far from the bottom, um, but I do intend to um, remove the stopper once I get down there. So I don't know, I, I feel as though thinking about it being, you know, this this low here, I have a feeling that getting down here, I might need to take the stopper out this month. Who knows, there's still a good amount of product on the wand when I pull it out and it's not, you don't need a ton of this to to make it work. Like you don't, you just need like a dab on each side and that's enough for underneath your eyes, which I don't really conceal all around my face. I don't find that it's necessary. I don't find that it does enough for me. I just prefer to conceal under the eyes and then I let my foundation do what it does and anything that shows through, I don't really care. So yeah, you can see, I hope you guys can see right here, I have some good windowing on this product. Let me see. So um, that, that makes me think that I will probably need to remove the stopper sometime soon. Um, we'll see how it goes with, um, with how much product is coming out. Cause like I said, it is, you know, it's still coming out pretty, pretty full on, on the wand where I don't really need to, I never need to dip back in. So I don't imagine that I'll need to take it out immediately, but I could see within a month or so, maybe at the end of the month, I'll need to remove it um, just to get down to the very bottom. But I'm really happy with my progress on this. Like I said, I really love this concealer and I'm super glad to be using it. My next product is my foundation, which is my Rare Beauty foundation. Um, this one, which this is, since I said the name of the concealer, which is really difficult to say, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the name of this one. This is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I use the shade 140C um, and this one I am weighing to get my usage on it. Um, I am looking to get this one used up because its expiration is the next one up. Um, so I, I wanna get this used up before the expiration date. Um, I try to focus on liquids and creams and things like that when um, I try to get as close to their expiration date as I can. Um, before I let them go. Like I don't want them to go much past that. So this one I am wanting to get used up um, and I like this foundation a lot. I always think it does a really good job. It is what I'm using today. Um, I, granted, I have been using it all day. I put it on at like seven, 6.30 this morning and it's five o'clock now. So I um, went through a whole work day with it and everything. Um, but this one I rolled in last month um, and I used it 16 times. Uh, like I said, I am weighing it. So um, last month I was at 
fluid ounces and this month I am at 2.61. Um, so that's a, that's a jump of 0 0.07 fluid ounces, uh, which I don't know. I have nothing to base that off of as, as to whether that's a, a good amount of usage or not. It is one fluid ounces total. So I will be keeping an eye kind of on um, how much usage gets me how much weight discrepancy and things like that because I have been tracking every single use I've had on this. So I will be able to kind of gauge an approximate weight per use ratio um, as I continue to go because I basically use it exactly the same way every single time where I put four dots on my cheeks, one to two dots on my chin and one or, like some some lines on my forehead and then I just blend it all in because it's a very it's a very watery formula so you you just kind of dot it on the skin and that works really well for me and so I think that the the usage should be pretty even um accounting for you know like an average usage per weight um so hopefully I'll be able to come up with kind of a good like weight to use ratio um, where I can maybe extrapolate like a, a number to tell me how much I've used so far, maybe. Um, but if not, oh well, but you know, I, I, I might try that and just kind of see how much I've already used and how much I have left to go after a couple of months. Um, Cause I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I, it's like I said, it's very thin watery kind of formula. So I don't know if that's something that's going to be fast or slow with the fact that it's on a doe foot applicator. So yeah, we're just, we're, I don't know if I've done well with this as far as progress goes or not. We're just, we're getting started with it and I, I enjoy using it. So that's where we're at with this one. The next product is my bronzer and that is the bronzer from my NARS Atomic Blonde palette in the shade Unleashed. I did depot that and put it into my empty butter bronzer container. So um, it is, it's looking different now than it did originally, but um, I here is what my progress is looking like and I think I've made some really good progress. I was originally hoping to have it done this month, but clearly that didn't happen. However, I think that the odds of me finishing it this next month are on the higher side. I don't know for sure that I'll be able to, but that is my goal. I think that I can get close. So yeah, this is where we're at. We're doing pretty well, I think. Um, it's not super, super thin, but it is moving pretty rapidly as I use it more and more. So I think that I can probably get this done this next month. I did use it 32 times this last month. So I think that's every single day this last month, um, which is a total of 119 uses within the project. I'm thinking another 30 uses, fingers crossed, um, and then it'll be done. So I'm very excited. I'm really hoping to have this one done this next month. I don't know if I can or not, but that's the, that's the goal, so. Something that is showing no progress is my next product, which is my highlighting product, and that is my NARS Fort de France highlighter. I also repressed this one just this last month, and as you can see, showing no no real signs of, of moving movement. Like nothing has changed, nothing is new, it looks pretty much the same. I think you can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of wear on this side, because that's where I dig my brush in for some reason. I don't know why I picked that side to work on. Um, but I, yeah, I've been working away on that and I kind of doubt, I don't know. I don't want to say that. I think I can hit pan on it by the end of the year. I think I can repan it by the end of the year, but I don't see any means of finishing this by the end of the year because I have used this. I used it 28 times this last month which is a total of 227 uses in this project. And there's no chance. Like, I feel like there's just as much product in this as there has ever been. And yeah, I don't see it getting finished up, which is fine with me. Honestly, I, I was kind of getting frustrated by that and, and upset, but it's my favorite highlighter. I love wearing it. It's kind of cool that it's never ending. The only reason it's it's frustrating is because I have other highlighters that I actually want to get out of my collection kind of more than this. This one is just my favorite and it's the oldest. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and start with this one, get this one used up. No big deal, no problem. I'll repurchase it once I finish all my other highlighters. 
but it's taking so, so long. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna be able to get to my other highlighters. But again, I'm kind of okay with that because this is my favorite highlighter. I love wearing it every day. Since I've started using other highlighters like a minimum of five times a month, kind of just keeping them in a rotation, it gets the usage on, usage on the other one. I don't feel guilty about just like leaving them to wait because they aren't just totally waiting. And it lets me use this one as much as I want. So I don't know. I don't know. If you guys get bored of it, let me know. But I plan to just keep using this at least through the end of the year. If it, we'll, we'll reevaluate next year and kind of see what, what's what, but I don't mind using this pretty much every day. And I don't know, I love it. It's my favorite highlighter. Why not? Why not wear it? The next product is my first blush that is in this project, and that is my Pixie blush. Um, this one is in the shade Beach Rose. I've said this before, I don't know if this is a sample size. I did get it in, in an Ipsy bag several years ago. Um, and I think it was in 2017 and yeah, I'm not positive if it's a like sample size or if it's an actual like full size blush of theirs. I've never taken the time to kind of like look it up, but I am currently, my goal with this one is to use it a hundred times, which I know sounds like a ridiculous amount of times, but for me, that's not that hard. So, uh, this is what we're looking like right now. Um, there is some good movement in here. Nothing too like astronomical. This is a very dense formula, so it doesn't move a ton. Um, but it is, you can see it is moving a, a decent amount. There is some good, good change, um, in this product. Um, as far as like, you can see a little bit of a change. I don't know. It, maybe it's not as much as I think it is, but I just feel like knowing how long this took me to hit pan and knowing how many uses it takes to improve the pan, I'm very happy to see some good movement with it. Um, again, my goal is just usage on this. I don't want to use it up by the end of the year because I don't think I can. Um, so I'm just kind of like, you know what, let's keep, keep plugging away see where we can get to, see what we can do with it. I did use this a total of 27 times this last month for a total of 48 uses in the project. So we're almost halfway on this guy. I told you, I've, I've had this in for two months and I, I'm still, like, I'm halfway. I use products, just, I go. I have no product problem with consistently using them and ignoring everything else. So that's part of the reason that I'm just like, Let's put it at a usage goal and uh, we'll just, we'll just see. I have to actively force myself not to use it. So that's part of the reason that I have another blush in this project. That's part of the reason that I'm kind of like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for usage and we're gonna see what we can do. Give ourselves that really high number because I'll, I'll hit it. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to ease up a little bit because Obviously I can't get it done this next month, but I think if I, again, if I'm not careful, I could very easily hit 25 more uses and then 25 more uses the following month. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of monitor myself on this cause I really actually want it to last me in the project through the end of the year, just because I'm, I'm running low on blushes and I wanna see how much I can use it up towards the end of the year. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll just, you know, hit a hundred uses and just keep using it. I don't know. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll reevaluate once I hit a hundred uses. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm making some good progress on it. The next blush product is my Deck of Scarlet Mistake Proof Blush in the shade Savage. Um, I feel like I said that really weird. Savage is the shade. I don't know why that sounds weird to me. I like this blush a lot. I didn't think I would like it very much because I'm not a liquid cream type of blush person. Like I don't, I don't really like cream bronzers, blushes, or highlighters. I just, I prefer powders, but I actually ended up really, really liking this blush. Um, I rolled it in to just kind of get some use on it. Um, I did have a usage goal of 50 uses um, and I did hit that goal this month. 
um, which is very exciting to me. I actually used it 20 times, which put me at 52 uses. So I'm glad to say that I not only hit my goal, I exceeded it, um, which is really exciting to me. I'm, I'm very glad that I've gotten the chance to get to know this product because like I said, I didn't really think I liked it very much. And then when I was using it, I found that I did really like it. So very glad that I put this in the project, got to know it really well, uh, very happy with that. As far as weight goes, because I've been weighing this to see, you know, how many, how much product usage, kind of like the foundation, how much use equated weight, how much like progress it was giving me per use. So there is 9, 0.94 fluid ounces in this total, um, but over the project, which I've used it if, like probably like 10 times prior to this project, not very often, um, but as far as the 50 uses go, um, we did use quite a bit of product in my opinion. So this last month I started at 4.83 fluid ounces and now we are at 4.73 ounces. So I used up an entire 0.1 fluid ounces, which is pretty great. Um, this last month with my 20 uses, that's pretty cool. We started the project with 5.01 fluid ounces. And so we ended with a 4.73, which gives us a total of 0.28 fluid ounces used up, which means at most we have 0.66 fluid ounces left in here, if it's accurate. But like I said, I did use it about 10 times prior to that. If we divide our uses and we try to figure out exactly how much fluid ounces is used by one use, technically 0.28 divided by 52 uses is 0 0.005 and then a hundred other numbers, fluid ounces per use. So if we really want to get serious with it, we could say that prior to using the 0.28, I probably used about 0.05 fluid ounces, which at most puts me at having used 0.33 fluid ounces, which would mean that I would be down to about 60, 0.61 fluid ounces. That's approximate, that's very approximate. I don't know that that's true. I still have a decent amount of product to go in here, but that tells me that I probably have about, with it taking 50 uses to get me to 0.28, and I have somewhere around 60, let's just say 65, 0.65 um, left in here, I would say that it's gonna take me probably another 150 uses to get this used up completely, which is a lot of uses. Like, like that's 200 total uses if, if I'm correct on my calculations that's a lot of, that's a lot. Like that's over half a year of daily usage the way I'm using it. So I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna be quite a while before I would finish this up, but I'm very happy with the progress I made. I'm glad to know that I, I got to know this project product and I'm, I'm happy to see that I can make progress on it. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Next year it does expire, so I'll probably put this as like a focus product next year. But for now, it's going away and we're gonna roll something in its place. So I have officially rolled in every single blush I own as of now. This is my fifth blush that I owned at the start of the year. Now I am down to four blushes and this is the final one in my collection that hasn't been in the project. So we're gonna go ahead and roll it in. This is my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Cheek to Chic Pillow Talk blush. Um, I really, really love this blush. It's very pretty, but it's one of those things where I don't let myself use it because I'm like, oh, such a special product. I don't wanna touch it. So I'm gonna use this. My goal is a usage goal. I'm not, there's no way. I'm hitting pan on this. There's no way I'm gonna empty it. We're using it. We're just giving it a usage goal. It'll be fine. I am going to aim for 50 uses on this. I think that's pretty fair. I mean, that's a, that's a good amount of usage to, to say, hey, I wanna use this 50 times. That's a, that's a good amount of, of use to, to put into something where you really like it. So I'm excited to get this one used up, or well, used up. I'm excited to get use on this, to get to love it some more. Um, kind of like my Pat McGrath concealer. I just wanna 
let myself love on the products that I love the most. So I'm very excited to use this. Um, 50 uses is gonna take me a while, especially with the 100 uses of the Pixi Blush. So one of the reasons I want to have this in is because it does help me kind of balance the usage on my Pixi Blush to this one. It, it, you know, it helps me not rush through that one and I can focus on getting some good use on this one. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what kind of progress I can make on this. Next up is my other long haul product and that is my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. Um, again, this one is gonna be in all year, all year, just gonna call it. It's gonna be in the rest of the year because my goal is to empty it and we still have a ton, a ton. This goes on forever, it never ends. And that's okay, I like it, it's good. It's not my favorite because I'm more of a liquid liner kind of person, but it's good. I, I'm so thankful that I've been using it and that I've been getting this much usage. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible. Like I started the year with just the tiniest little, little dot of, of space used up and I've used uh, at least half of this. So I'm thrilled that I've made it this far on here. I don't know that I'm gonna get it used up by the end of the year, but I am so happy that I've been using it regularly. I did use this 14 times last month, which puts me at a total of 141 uses. That is a pretty good amount of uses, if I do say so myself. So uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna take me whew, forever to use this up, I feel like, cause yeah, I mean, 141 uses gets me here. We probably got at least another 141 uses in this, at least. So <laughs> not gonna finish it this year, but we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get pretty close. So yeah, we're gonna just keep trucking on it. I'm happy with my progress on it. Yeah. As always, the final three products are my lip products. So we are going to start that off with my Lancome Labsolu Lacquer in the shade 202. And this one, my original goal was to empty it. And then my goal became use it 50 times because the formula had changed so much. And ultimately, we've ended with emptying it. Granted, there's a bunch stuck to the bottom here, but there is no way to get it out. I could take the stopper out, but it's just not worth it. There's like such little product that comes out. It's like impossible to apply. I have to keep digging it down in there and just like swirling and swirling and swirling and it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's empty. I'm considering this empty. I am so glad that I used it. I love this color. It's so pretty. I do like this product a lot. I would consider repurchasing it. I don't know if I will or not because I like to try new things, but I did really enjoy it. Um, I used it a total of 12 times this last month for a total of 47 uses within the project. Between this one and the Deck of Scarlet Blush, I am currently at a total of 16 of 21 goals hit this year, which is very exciting. It's very exciting. We are getting ever closer. Only five products to go. I think I can do it. Um, but yeah, this one is done. How thrilling. I didn't think I was going to get to use it up. I didn't think it was going to be empty, but like I said, I cannot get like anything out of here. I, I, it's just dry. Like all of this down here is just drying up. So very happy with that. As far as I was weighing it. So last month I did manage to use a good amount of this product at up at the start of the month. It was at 0 0.60 fluid ounces. And at the end of the month, it was at 0.56. So I used up a total of 0 0.04 of the product. From the start of the project to the end, I used a total of 0 0.07 fluid ounces, which I cannot read for the life of me how many fluid ounces were in this to begin with. But even so, I used this a ton before I ever rolled it into this project. So who knows how much I actually got used of it, but I'm, I'm happy to say that it's, it's done. So in its place, I am rolling in one of my very final lip products. I did pick up another mini from Sephora the other day. So I do technically have four products again. I had kind of like a one for one exchange with it. But before that, this was the last lip product I had in my collection. And this is the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud Mini in the shade Faded Clementine. And I really love this color. Not a huge fan of the formula. I don't know, it, it kind of like, it just kind of sits on your lips and it moves around too much. And I, I don't know, I just, I don't love that. It's okay, it feels really nice, it looks really pretty, but I, I don't know. 
I don't love, it's just not my favorite formula. I would prefer a gloss in this. I think I would much prefer to have the gloss. So I'm planning, once I get this finished up, to purchase the gloss. But I'm rolling this into the project. It is my goal to empty it. There's really no way for me to track this as far as like marking or anything like that for right now because it is just such a thick formula. But um, I will be weighing it in the meantime. So my starting weight on this one is actually 0.53 fluid ounces. Let me see, there is 0 0.06 fluid ounces in here. So there's not very much product. So we will probably not see very fast weight change um, with this. I'm not anticipating seeing a, a major change from month to month, but it is my goal to finish it up. So hopefully I can do that. I haven't had a ton of product or I haven't had a ton of usage on it prior to the project, but I am hopeful to get it used up this year. And as I only have a very small number of of lip products left in my collection, I think I can. So that is my goal with this one. I wanna use it up. I'm really excited to see where I can get. My next lip product is my Lisa Eldridge True Velvet uh, Lipstick in the shade Velvet Muse. And uh, we're doing really, really well. This is, we're just kind of trucking on this one. We keep trucking along where um, I feel like I've been making the same amount of progress each month. So you can kind of see, you know, I started up here each month. I've been making about the same same headway each month. Very excited about that. Really nice to see. I'll show you what it's looking like on on here. There's like there's like nothing left in there. It's very very minimal. Again, I'm not going to dig out anything once I get to the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna use it to the plastic part, like the little holder, and we're gonna be calling it good there. Um, I did use this one a total of 18 times this last month for a total of 64 uses within the project. So again, I feel like we're making some good progress. Um, I feel like we're making a, a good amount of headway. I think as far as the markings go, if we're going off the measurements, I feel like I need to use it more than just the 18 times I think I'm going to need to prioritize it and use it more like 20 to 25 times this next month to make sure I really get it all used up but I think I can do that that's kind of my thing right now is I'm like you know what I really want to get this one used up this month it would be faster than I anticipated so I'd really like to go ahead and try to focus in get this one done it's not my favorite I really like the color but the formulation's just not really for me um so I'm really looking forward to getting it used up. Um, so I think I'm gonna prioritize it this next month. Really push, really try to get it done. Honestly, it will probably be, aside from the bronzer, potentially, um, it will probably be the only one that I actually get done this next month. But I'm very happy with the progress that I've made and hopefully we'll have it done next month. My final project for this update is my Tower 28 gloss. I did roll this one in last month and we've made some pretty good headway. I feel like that's a pretty big jump. Um, I didn't use this a ton either. I only used this 11 times. And just as a reminder, my usage as far as lip products go is just like by day. I don't mark reuses, like reapplications because that would just be way too much work. Um, but yeah, I've used this 11 different times, 11 different days. And that's a pretty good jump from, from here to here. I'm really happy with that. Um, I think if I were to really prioritize this and say, hey, I wanna make sure I use this up, I could possibly get it, like, I don't know, I could possibly get this done in two months, but I don't know. I'm kind of like, I don't wanna force myself to just rush through this. I'm, I'm letting myself take my time with it. I think using it 10 times a month is a really good uh, amount. If I do that, I think it'll probably last the project through the end of the year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll I'm just going to kind of use this as I want to. Um, and if I, and if I use it up really fast, I use it up really fast. Um, if I need to take the stopper out, I will, I probably will just to get the bot very bottom stuff out. But, um, yeah, if I need to use, take the stopper out, I'll take the stopper out. Otherwise I'll just like lay it on its side once it gets too low down here. Um, and use it up that way but I I'm really I really enjoy this one this is originally the shade chill but I don't clean off the doe foot because I'm lazy so it's turned pink um and so I'm just going to use it up I will probably repurchase their um another one of their lip products in a different shade um 
just because I don't, I don't find that the clear gloss is useful for me. So really enjoy the formula though. Really, really like it. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting it used up. So that is everything for this update. We are making some really good headway. Like I said, I'm at 16 of 21 goals at this point. Um, I am keeping a basket of all of the products that I've hit my goals on. So at the end of the year, I will kind of do a little recap for you guys and show you all the products that I got to use through this and all the goals that I got to hit because I feel like 21 goals is a pretty big, pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, I will have a little bit of a a refresh reminder for you guys on that. I'm really excited to see how much more progress I can make on all these different products throughout the next several months. Hopefully I'll hit my 21 goals and uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll, we'll see a lot of, a lot of changes um, in my collection. As always, thank you so much for watching and giving me a little part of your day. Um, I do really appreciate it. Feel free to give the video a like if you did and subscribe if you'd like to follow along. I um, am, I'm so appreciative to all of you for um, being part of this journey with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.